It is time. The next generation of consoles is truly beginning to get here. So we had the Series X drop. We had the PlayStation 5 drop. The problem was is, and, and these consoles have the ability at 4K, 120 hertz, uh, or 120 frames per second, HDR, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle, the, all of the bells and whistles. The problem was... There's no monitors out there that currently do that, that at least that possess HDMI 2.1. That's the key. You need HDMI 2.1. Well, Microsoft over at Xbox Wire did announce earlier this morning that there are three designed for Xbox monitors that are available, that are becoming available. We're going to go over this article. We're going to go over what Microsoft has to say about it, what these three monitors are. There's three different ones at different price points, and monitor is probably the wrong word because some of these are televisions. Um, but it's there. It's there. The next generation is here. If you want to get the full power out of your Series X, looks like these are going to be starting to trickle into the market, especially the design for Xbox monitors. Uh, I mean, that just gives you peace of mind that, yes, this does indeed work with my Series X the way that the Series X was intended to be used to get the full power out of it. Before we jump into it, though, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. I'm X1 the Gamer. We're the X1 Bros. This is all things positive gaming and Xbox. And let's jump right into this. Um, introducing, this is uh, news. This is Xbox Wire. So this is straight hot off the press, straight from the horse's mouth. Introducing the new design for Xbox monitors, unlocking the true power of HDMI 2.1. Um, and this is the first time that they're announcing these licensed partners joined the Designed for Xbox program. We've got Philips, Asus, and Acer uh, doing these, and these all include HDMI 2.1. Let's jump into the first one here. The first one is the big one. This is the Philips Momentum 55-inch television. It comes with that sweet, sweet speaker. Oh, it looks so good. Um, some highlights here. The Philips Momentum does support 4K res resolutions at 120 hertz, powered by the AMD FreeSync Premium Pro technology. So the, the FreeSync, for those of you that don't know, basically gets rid of screen tearing. So it, it makes it so that no screen tearing exists. It also, it also introduces a new dedicated Xbox picture mode. Ooh, that's what Designed by Xbox does. You click that Xbox picture mode in your settings on your television, and players can instantly enjoy high-contrast HDR with the VESA certified display HDR1000, offering local dimming and peak luminance with three times that of mid-grade mid -grade display. So let's take a look at this bad boy again. Not bad. 55 inches. So this is, you know, probably for your living room. If you game in your living room, I myself game at a desk, so this is a little bit too big for me. But if you game in your living room, this is perfect. It is coming in at a, at a little bit steep of a price, $1,599. Now, there are other televisions that that are not uh, designed for Xbox that come in a little bit cheaper, like right around $1,200. $1,100 that do pretty well. However, if you do want the design by Xbox, the Philips Momentum is there. If you want that dedicated um, Xbox picture mode on your television, then that's there. And also that that speaker down below. A lot of people might not like that. I kind of like that. That's kind of grabbing me right there. It's doing stuff for me. It's doing stuff for me. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. This is a gaming monitor. Now, this we're getting into true gaming monitors here, right here. This is the Asus Strikes Xbox Edition gaming monitor. It is 43 inches. 43 inches is a pretty nice, it's a pretty nice size gaming monitor. This would work at a desk. Now, a lot of people think it's too big at a desk I myself don't I think 41 to 43 inches at a desk is really nice that gives you this immersive experience so that is nice look at the back of this too I love gaming monitors I pick gaming monitors over TVs any day of the week Oof, that's very nice um, this is co-developed uh, this one was co-developed with the Xbox team Asus has created an Xbox mode again same thing um, for best color contrast and hue settings paired with the Xbox Series X and S. It is 43 inches. Uh, it's got 4K UHD visibles and one megasecond refresh rate, which is beautiful time for super fast gaming on the big screen. Whew, that HDMI 2.0, 4K, 120 hertz. It do, this one does clock in. What's the price on this one? Do we not have a price? Oh, no price yet. Will be available October 21. And price may vary by regions. I'm going to say 43 inches. I'm going to say you're probably looking at about the same price as this bad boy. I bet you're looking at anywhere between $1,200 and $1,500. Gaming monitors, it's that refresh rate on a gaming monitor that really puts you over, over the top there. That sounds like, I mean, that's pretty badass. Look at your connectors on the back. There's a couple USB connectors that you're getting. 
as well. This can also you could also use this as your uh, computer monitor and just switch back and forth. And last but not least, we got a 28 inch gaming monitor. Now, 28 inch uh, from Acer. 28 inches is pretty nice. I myself game. You can't see it because it's it's right below where you're looking at. I myself game on a 32 inch gaming monitor. 28 inches is pretty nice. Mine is 4K. It's 4K 60. Doesn't have that 4K 120. It also doesn't have HDMI 2.1, which indeed enables 4K 120. But these do. This uh, Acer Acer makes some quality quality gaming hardware here. Um, again, 4K 120 HDMI 2.1. You are getting that one millisecond response time as well with this Acer. 28 inches is really nice, guys. If you're at a, at a desk, it's perfect. Some of you might be thinking, but I'm gaming on a 55. It's too... I honestly prefer gaming on monitors now over... Tele televisions are too big for me. It There's something... There's something that takes away the sharpness for me um, of being at bigger distance sitting in my living room. I've, I've probably just become conditioned to it. But I love that we're getting these, these monitors here. This is going to cost you... What is this called again? The Asus... Xbox edition. That's it. Just the Xbox edition. This is going to cost you $949. And that's about right. That's 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 about on par with what we're seeing with other HDMI 2.1 monitors, the very few that are out there. They're pricey. It's because it's a new technology. Um, it's because it's that HDMI 2.1. It's 4K 120. It's that one millisecond response time. So you're think thinking to yourself, for only $500, I can get 55 inches. And you can, yes. However, notice what this does not have is that one millisecond response time. That's that's honestly the difference. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. If you're into like competitive shooters, a, a little bit bigger of a deal. I just prefer I, I prefer what the gaming devices do for me. Um, there's also a certified active ultra high speed cable right here that uh, that is going to start at sixty four ninety nine and is available now that you can purchase to then connect your monitors, which is nice because not all HDMI cables handle HDMI 2.1. You need to make sure you have an HDMI 2.1 cable. Regardless, we are getting... The time is ripe. The time is now. The future is now. Xbox Series S, it is nice to get... <coughs> excuse me. It is nice. I'm coughing over here. It is nice to get some grand televisions, some designed for Xbox televisions and consoles. And this is just the beginning. Right now, these are a thousand fifteen hundred. If you don't want to pay that much, just wait a year. Next year at Christmas time. In fact, this year at Christmas time, I think we're going to see a deep cut, probably in the four to five hundred dollar range. Hopefully, that's what I'm hoping. Cross my fingers to jump into these HDMI two point one monitors. If not a year from now, prices are going to decrease. Gaming leads in technology, particularly when it comes to monitors and televisions. It really pushes the envelope. Nothing else requires. What else requires a one millisecond refresh rate? Nothing. Gaming does. Um, no movie. Movies don't matter for that, but gaming, it does matter. So we're pushing the boundaries. And as the PS5, as the Xbox Series X get more and more popular, we're going to see more of these TVs. We're going to see more of them for cheaper as well as gaming monitors. But we have the first batch here, and it's very exciting. I want to know what you guys think. Which one would you get? Would you get the 55-inch, the 43-inch, or the 28-inch? Myself, I think I'm going either 28 or 43 I, I, and I think I'm probably leaning towards 28. I like that. I, I just like that size. I have a 32 right now. So that's that's where I'm going. But let me know in the comments below what you would get. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you guys next time.